Hello friends, welcome back and I'm in Lightroom today and I'm talking about masking again in this video because it is the stuff. I love masking. It is, I think, the most important editing skill you can possibly develop. And uh, you know, Lightroom makes it easy. It's powerful. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do. And that's what I'm talking about in this video. A cool little trick. This is going to be significantly shorter video than my last one, which is there, which was a the basics of masking, a beginner's guide to masking. It was very long. I'm going to make this one much shorter. Let's get into it and get going. I've got a landscape photo here. I've already cropped it. And as you can see here in basic, I've done a few kind of basic things. What I would normally do to a photo before and after, right? Before and after. Now you'll notice in the before, it's a little bit more of a silhouette across the middle. And I kind of like that. And I kind of want to play that up in this photo. Uh, but in uh, playing around with the photo in basic, one of the things I did want to do is lift the exposure um, in the shadows. So I lifted shadows, which brighten the foreground a little bit before and after. Now I'm going to do some more of that with the mask, but in doing so with the shadows, it also brightened that middle section. And that's where I'm going to show you my little trick of how you can kind of isolate specific little areas, target them really accurately. So let's jump into it. Uh, first things first, linear gradient, and I'm going to do that across the foreground as I said, because I want it to be a little bit brighter. So that mask is in place. I also am going to drop the texture and clarity. That's just a personal preference because I like a little bit smoother skies and I like a little bit smoother water in this case. So uh, having done that, I think that looks fine. And I'm going to add another mask. And this time it's going to be a select sky. Does a great job. It finds the sky, gets along the ridge line pretty nicely. I mean, it's not perfect. I could clean it up a little bit there. I'm not going to do that in this video, but what I want to do is come in here, slightly lower the exposure just a little bit, and also take down the texture and the clarity. Maybe not that much, but again, just kind of smoothing it out, just a personal preference. And so now I've got a photo that I kind of like. I mean, what I want to do is kind of isolate that center section, make it a little bit darker. And there's a couple of ways you can do that using this little trick that I like to use. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is add a mask. So I'm going to go click on plus and I'm going to add a linear gradient again. And this time I'm going to take a linear gradient and I'm going to drag it down here and I'm going to drag it all the way through this section that um, I want to isolate, right? So I'm going to get it something, you know, maybe about like that, right? So I'm basically covering that section in the center, but I'm also covering this guy. And so how do you isolate that? Well, here's the little trick. And if you go and you click on the mask that you're in, you have these add and subtract options. Subtract is really helpful here because what I want to do is subtract the sky. Well, how do you go mask the sky? Well, you don't. Lightroom will do it for you. So subtract, select sky, and it'll figure out the sky, which you saw already. And boom, there I go. I've now isolated that section and it's done a pretty good job. I mean, there's a little bit around the edges. Maybe it's not exactly perfect, but it looks a whole lot better. And then I can come in with my exposure reduction and make a little bit more of a silhouette there because I want the trees to be darker. I like the little bit of light touching on the mountain, so I don't want to make that completely dark. But of course, I was able to quickly and easily isolate that area, bring back what was kind of the silhouette kind of look in the original file before any edits, while still having the uh, custom adjustments I did in the sky and the water and that sort of thing. So that's one way I can do this. The other way, I'm going to delete that mask. Now I'm back to just having the two masks, right? The sky mask and the water mask. There's another way you can do that, and that is also with a luminance range mask. And uh, I'm going to do a video about more details about luminance range masking. So if it's a little confusing to you, I'll come back and do a deeper dive here soon. But it's basically a uh, mask based on light value. So all you do is you drag these little sections, and whatever's covered in pink is what the mask is going to cover, right? So if you take a look at it, I've got a pretty amazing isolation there of that area but I've got all this stuff in the water. And so this allows you to change the luminance range, which is going to adjust where the mask falls in the photo. Again, I'm not going to get into all that. And if I start dragging this to compress that range, I lose more and more of that mountaintop. And so I don't want to do that. So I want to pull this back up, something about like that. And then once again, I'm going to do the same subtract, but this time I'm just going to click subtract and I'll use a linear gradient because a linear gradient easily covers a wide kind of straight or uh, kind of flat-ish area like uh, like I just did there. So I just got to get the linear gradient kind of in place, get it as high as I can without really jumping into that other section. And there you go. That's done. And now I can come in and I can drop the exposure. 
And once again, I've just been able to quickly and easily and frankly, pretty accurately isolate that section and then drop the exposure in order to create that silhouette look. And so that's two different ways that, uh, and there's plenty of others, I'm sure. You can use object mass, brush mass, all that kind of stuff. These are two ways that I think are pretty quick, especially in a photo like this, where I can just come in and take care of that. So the masks have now been in place, and that was really quick and easy, and I've made a whole lot of progress on my photo. And now what I want to do is just kind of wrap it up. So I might come in and do a little bit with color calibration, which uh, in the poll that I did recently, a lot of people said they wanted to see me talk a little bit more about this tool. It's an incredibly powerful tool. I find myself, now that I've been using calibration more, I want to use it on every photo. I mean, I love it. I love it. It's really cool and really powerful. So I'm going to come back and do some more on that. Uh, and I'm going to pop into color grading, get the highlights, and just add a little bit of warmth there, which is going to pop those clouds and a little bit in the sky and also a little bit of that reflection. So a couple little touch-ups with calibration and color grading to get the colors looking the way I want. But the key thing here and the real point of the video is the power and the accuracy of the masks and being able to stack them by subtracting things that you don't need. So you kind of stack and subtract. It allows you to really quickly and easily isolate sections in a photo, masks accurately, and then you can move on, do your adjustments, and carry on with your edit. That's my little tip for you today. Hope that helps. Leave me any comments down below. I'll be back soon with more videos. You guys take care. Until the next time, adios.